Welcome to the fourth and final video in the Secret Tech Stack series. Today we're going to be looking at the secret life of your transaction. From the moment where you click on a DeFi application on Secret and you're looking for something to happen, right? What is the flow of that? Just like flipping on a light switch, we hope and expect that it would be pretty easy and pretty smooth. But behind that light switch, as you flip it, there's a whole lot going on. And it's pretty interesting to understand some of what that is. So we'll take a look at that transaction flow today. As you sit there on your computer and make an interaction, there's a chain taking place. Uh, first of all, you're operating inside a browser, so you're connected to the internet. But then that browser, in order to interact with Web3, right, needs a wallet extension on Secret. Uh, Kepler is a popular wallet you might have used before. And so that wallet then is, think of it as half of a bridge that connects back to the, to the blockchain. The other part is the API, which stands for Application Programming Interface. And it is allowing your browser and the wallet to talk to the blockchain. So we go from browser to wallet to API, all the way back to the blockchain. And the blockchain has the smart contracts that we've talked about. It's where trusted execution environments that help execute encrypted data on those smart contracts and, and protect your data. It's where all of that is taking place. If you want to understand more there, make sure and go back and watch the first three videos. But so as you click and initiate a transaction on the user side, it moves through those pieces. And now we're talking to the blockchain. This transaction has been submitted to a mempool. This can include encrypted data inputs. Validators receive this encrypted data from users and they then execute on the secret contract. You might think of this mempool a little bit like one of those arcade toys that have a claw that can be operated with a joystick and reach in and grab a particular toy. The toys are kind of like transactions waiting to be chosen and selected for output. And the claw is a bit like a validator who is processing that transaction. So I guess in the case of secret with this analogy, there would be many, many claws that are reaching in and pulling transactions from the mempool. And during the secret contract execution, the encrypted inputs are decrypted inside a trusted execution environment. And these requested functions, they're executed inside that TEE. State is always encrypted when at rest and is only decrypted within the trusted execution environment. That's why it's trusted. And then outputs are encrypted as well. So the transaction has just come in one side of the TEE and come out the other side, encrypted both in input, state, and output as we've talked about in previous videos. And now the block proposing validator will propose a block that contains that data, the encrypted outputs and the updated encrypted state that reflects this new state of the chain, this new decentralized ledger that includes your transaction. In order for that to go through, at least two thirds of participating validators must achieve consensus on that encrypted output and state. And then once that consensus is reached, your transaction is committed to chain. On secret, uh, block times are six seconds. So the chain reaches consensus regarding that encrypted state. And now here you are back at your computer and the transaction has been a success. You'll receive notification of that. And you can now query this transaction result in something like a blockchain explorer like MintScan or Secret Nodes. And you can see through interaction with exploring the blockchain, the validity of that transaction, right? It is now a recorded part of secret network history. If you're eager to dig into more about transaction flow and even more of the intricacies there, I'll link an article in the bottom. And we'll also link to our docs too, in case you feel like drinking a huge cup of coffee and just really diving in deep, feel free to go for it. Thanks for tuning into this Secret Tech Stack series. I hope this has really heightened your enthusiasm for the cause of privacy on Web3. And I hope you're more excited about what Secret has going on when it comes to our tech. Now, the next time you initiate a transaction on Secret, it'll be a little bit more than just flipping on a light switch for you. You know what's going on behind the curtain, and that's pretty fun. Until next time, thanks for learning. Thanks for watching. Peace.